Welcome to Huddle Adventures. I am Eddie. Laura isn't here right now. Today is Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. And I want to talk to you guys about cruise news. Before I get to that, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to our channel, turn the notification bell on, and give us a like, guys. Those things help our channel grow. And we're here for you. We're all things cruising. Okay, guys, I don't really have a news story for you today. What I want to talk to you is about the general tone, the tonality of the news. I've been very critical of the mass media's coverage of the cruise industry with the Omicron variant spreading all over the world. They seem to be focusing a lot of attention on one sector of the travel industry, and that is the cruise industry holding them to higher standards than any other industry, much like the CDC. With the CDC protocols, the conditional sailing order, which expired on Saturday, those protocols were super strict and rigorously enforced by the CDC. No other sector in the travel industry had to do anything close to what the cruise industry had to do. With that said, there's a lot of negativity out there, guys. There's a lot of fear mongering. There's a lot of clickbait happening. There's a lot of sensationalized headlines in the news that just glorify the tiny, small amount of cases that are on these ships, make it sound inverted as though it's 99% of the population on board that is sick and only 1% isn't. That's how they make it sound. Why does that bother me? Personally, it has no impact on any of our decisions to cruise because as I've stated numerous times in previous vlogs, we base our decisions on actual numbers, facts, numbers, statistics, the numbers. We don't just read the headlines, guys. We go deeper. We look. We read the details. We suggest you do the same thing. We know the smart cruisers out there are doing that. Now, I'm going to read a couple hot headlines to you just briefly and it, tell me if you were on the bubble to cruise or not and you were hearing and seeing these headlines nonstop on TV and every time you open up any kind of news app on your phone, you see these headlines. I got these. I just wrote a couple down. New York Times, more cruises canceled. Fox News, Norwegian cruise hit with COVID-19 wave cancels mid-voyage. The Hill, passengers stuck at sea. Politico, COVID confusion sends cruisers into choppy waters on their own. News Nation, passengers trapped on board canceled Norwegian cruise. Yes, Norwegian ended a cruise early. No one was trapped at sea. No one was trapped on board. Uh, there was no wave of COVID-19. That isn't reported anywhere by Norwegian. Norwegian didn't say they canceled the cruise because there was a wave of COVID-19. That is just the, the media taking liberty with facts and using conjecture instead of using research and, and, and using sensationalized headlines to get you to click on their link. The thing that really gets me aggravated is when I see cruisers, cruise vlog channels, people that rely on cruising for recreation, and many of these guys are making a living vlogging about the cruise industry. They started off loving the cruise industry and going on vlogs and doing vlogs of their actual cruises and then, you know, doing news and everything. Same thing I'm doing, right? But they can't just do it and have a positive spin on anything, they have to do the same thing as the mass media. They have to use sensationalized headlines in their thumbnails to get you to click. It's called clickbait, guys, clickbait. Here's a couple. Nightmare Cruise, Stuck at Sea, New Port Rules, Doom Cruises, or Cruisers. Guys, Here's the problem with all of this nonsense. These headlines, a lot of people only read headlines. 
I'll give these guys credit, the vloggers, the news vloggers, the cruise vloggers. Most of them go on to tell you that that headline's BS and the real story is this. But they drag it out for 11, 13, 14, 22 minutes before they tell you that at the end because the goal is to get you to watch it as long as possible. I understand. I get it. But the problem is we have short attention spans here in the United States of America. We do headlines. We do everything fast. We're in a hurry. Okay. So if you are someone contemplating cruising or had been hesitant to cruise, afraid to cruise, and all you see are these headlines constantly, what is the likeliness that you are going to go book a cruise anytime soon? Why do I care? It hurts all of us, guys. It hurts all of us. It hurts the cruise industry. It puts us in a position where we have to defend ourselves with our friends and family. You're, you're, oh, you're going on a cruise? Laura and I are going on a cruise in four days, guys. You know how many of our friends and family are like, but it's not safe. It's, it, it's, it's mind numbing. And another level of this, more important is, people are canceling their cruises because of these headlines. These thumbnails, the clickbait, all these crazy exaggerated news articles. People are canceling their cruises because of that. It, it, I don't know what, at what point do you feel an obligation to defend an industry that you enjoy, an industry that you love? You don't have no cruise vlog channel without the cruise industry the negativity guys it's just out of control and i know you're probably saying oh well you're being negative talking about negativity how else am i going to bring this to light guys yes our channel's small barely anyone's going to see this video and that's fine but i will go out as one of the guys that said hey this is a bunch of bullshit we have to stand up and speak spread facts and quit spreading fear guys with that said there is no safer cruise vacation or i should say any safer vacation than cruising sorry guys i'm getting i'm really aggravated by this you have to be tested prior to cruising you have to be fully vaccinated prior to cruising there's no other place that's requiring that right now i watched the Rams defeat the Cardinals last night on Monday Night Football, playoff football, a packed stadium of people, no one wearing masks, maybe a handful, okay? No one tested. No vaccines required. I'm not suggesting shutting football down, shutting the NFL down. I'm just pointing out it's hypocrisy. People will not hesitate to go to a football game, but they're terrified of a cruise ship where everybody's vaccinated. And everybody's been tested. COVID is not going away, guys. It's not going away. Those of you waiting for it to go away, you're going to be like that meme, the skeleton, you know, tapping their fingers. That's going to be you. It's not going away. The flu never went away. Smallpox never went away. The measles never went away. They're still out there, guys. With that said, sorry for getting heated, guys. On a positive note, I'm going to mention one more time. This negativity permeates everything in our life right now. Everything has to get negative. This is negative. I'm being negative right now. Negative over the negativity. The Facebook groups for cruise lines, they're ridiculous. They're ridiculously full of people being negative, complaining about everything, complaining about gratuities, complaining about itinerary changes, complaining about masks, complaining about vaccines, complaining about the fact they're not getting as good of a price as a guy next to them is getting. Even though you don't know if that guy's really getting that price because we're on the internet and they could be making this stuff up, but people are heated and people are insulting each other and people are all over each other. And cruising should be all about joy, guys. Joy. It's a privilege to be able to cruise. Many people will never get to go on a cruise. They will never experience what it feels like to look out at that ocean and see nothing but the bluest, most beautiful water you've ever seen for miles in all directions with nothing around you. 
to wake up in the middle of the night and walk out on your balcony and see so many stars you think you're seeing double and triple vision but that's what it looks like when you get away from the cities and all the smog and you can see the stars to go to a tropical island places you only heard about when you were a little kid that you never dreamed you would, would step foot on to see the bluest water and the whitest sands to be in a jungle all those things to go to Alaska, Greenland, the Mediterranean. Cruise ships take us everywhere, guys. It's, it should fill your heart with joy. You should be happy. With that said, we love Carnival. I don't make any apologies for it. You know, we, we like Royal, and I'm sure we're going to like Norwegian, and we're going to like Celebrity when we sail on those ships, too. We'd probably be happy on a, you know the SS Minnow, because we love being out on the ocean. But with that said, out of frustration of reading all this negativity in the Carnival fan groups we belong to, we decided to start one. It's called Carnival Cruise Fanatics. I did a video about it uh, yesterday. I'm going to keep promoting it. It has nothing to do with Huddle Adventures. It's just a place for people that love Carnival Cruise Line and love cruising on Carnival ships can go and have positive conversations, ask questions, not be ridiculed, not have to listen to people complaining about uh, how their uh, their last dinner in MDR was slightly warm and it should have been hot, and uh, their sheets made their butt itch. You know all the all the nonsense, <laughs> all the stuff John Hale reads uh, every day, all those emails, all that negativity. None of that's gonna be tolerated there. If you have a complaint with Carnival Cruise Line. Our administrators are instructed to give you a warning and tell you, don't do that. Go tell Carnival. Don't tell us. We don't work for Carnival, guys. We can't fix your problem, so don't come into our group and complain about Carnival. It's not the place for it. It's not a soapbox. It is a community of like-minded people that want to share positive vibes, man. It's not about this negative stuff. There's enough negativity out there. I want to thank you guys. If you made it this far, 12 minutes. This is a long one for me. I'm really aggravated, guys. And I hope you share this video, and I hope it pisses people off that need to be pissed off about it, because either you are supporting the cruise industry or you are against it. You can be an enemy from within and not even know it. The stupid clickbait thumbnails need to stop. They need to stop. You can do the news without being over the top. You don't need the drama. With that said, we love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.